Hello everybody, Shazia is here out in my mad science laboratory. Somebody, uh, ooh, there we are. Somebody asked me a question. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, my lab assistant Sparky's here. <laughs> Somebody asked me a question on how to uh, basically charge a battery uh, using a uh, Shaziz, using either the Shaziz coil or a Tesla coil. So I'm going to use the Shaziz coil, which uh, if you've seen my video, the Shaziz coil, and uh, you've seen this before acts as a transmitter, receiver, and an amplifier. Essentially what the, what you do is you run your positive and your negative in parallel with your capacitor, which I've got going down to this junk battery right here. And uh, of course I've got a towel here on my lap so I don't, in case I get any doggone uh, battery leakage or whatever, I don't want to get no chemicals on me. But uh, you can see what the voltage is right at the moment. It's 815. I haven't been able to get it to go much higher because this battery is a piece of crap. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see if I can set this uh, situation up here for you a little bit better. We'll put this over here. here. And we'll have Sparky hold it down so it don't go nowhere. Ah, I killed Sparky. Uh, he's back. He's resilient. That's what a lab assistant's for. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Well, we're about 8.15, and it looks like about 8.16 there. 8.16 volts. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and deaden this battery with this uh, battery or this light bulb here because. Uh, it's a real heavy light bulb and it's a really crap battery and uh, it's not even enough to uh, light up the uh, light bulb as you can see and so I'm going to hold it on here and drain this puppy down as much as I can get it to go down and then we'll fire up the Shaziz coil and start charging it back up okay let's see what we got now all right, we're down to about four volts. All right, well, let's speed this process up and go ahead and fire up the Shaziz coil. And keep an eye on the uh, the uh, meter there because it's going to jump down to zero and back up and that kind of jazz. It'll fluctuate back and forth, down under, and sometimes it'll jump up. But our goal is to get it back up to 8 volts. Let's see what we got so far. We're at 5.32. Leave it run here for a second. See if my computer either freaks out or whatever. <laughs> there is uh, juice still in the um, capacitor, so.
even after you shut it off it's still going to charge to some extent Sorry about the static, that's just uh, life in a mad science laboratory. <laughs> Notice the uh, numbers keep fluctuating up there, sometimes getting higher. Every once in a while to jump up into the one bolt. We're at 5.54 now. 5.55. So you can clearly see <coughs> that it is possible to uh, charge a uh, regular 12 volt battery up with a uh, Shazoo's coil or a Tesla coil, either one. Uh, it's just taking me a little longer than I anticipated here to get it to go up. 556, looks like I'm only getting a couple volts every go around. 557. Anyway, I've been tinkering around with this all day long. Fire it up some more. That's gonna probably put us at about 558 or 559. <clears throat> but if it's done a little better than what I'm doing right here, um, you could get it to generate a lot faster. Okay. We're at 5.59 now. Yeah, probably one thing that would help if I uh, adjusted my spark gap just a little bit better. Kind of got it out of whack a little bit earlier. So that's probably why the difference is. But uh, tinkering around with it and... If it goes up one more point, <clears throat> uh, it is possible to charge a uh, battery via your Tesla coil. Um, if you get it tuned just right uh, on your uh, spark gap, it'll charge that capacitor a little better. And uh, there you go. It's 560, I can't remember what we drained it down to. It's still charging a little bit. 561. Okay, one more. Five sixty two. Alright, well we're just gonna end it there with five sixty two, but it'll charge up. Peace and love, everybody. Say goodbye, Sparky. <laughs> okay, we're back for a short addendum. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, capacitor still got some juice left in it, and if you see, it keeps on rising up, straining off that capacitor. And so I'll let this uh, run for a while and see if I can get it back up to eight volts again. You can see uh, where we're at now. We're at 6.69. And then I'll come back in and uh, see if we can get it up back up to the 8 volts where we had it before. Ah, uh, here we are back again. We're at 6.96. Seems like when it gets to a certain uh, level it starts to speed up a hair. Let me fire this thing up again. <sighs> All right, let's see where we're at. 704. Now, um, I'm probably going to have to chop this video down a little bit in a couple sections, take out the less relevant things, but uh, it's the only reason why I'm chopping the video so I can fit it within my uh, time span. But uh, you see, it's uh, going back up. We're almost back up to our 8 volts. frequency open my computer deal <laughs> alrighty 
Let's see, 714 now. <clears throat> Alright, we're just going to leave it there at 735 and uh, it'll be climbing up and uh, basically you see we, we shorted the battery down and drained the voltage. It's a junk battery. Can't even light up a little light bulb with it right at the moment. That's why I stopped using the battery, but uh, there it is. We're up to 737 now. Can be done. That's all in the main name of mad science. <laughs> anyway, we're up to 754 now. Um, it's just going to take too long. I don't know if I'm going to be able to chop this down. <clears throat> Either way, it's uh, it's no trick, folks. It's just basically you're uh, this going off my battery, and these two, my positive and my negative, are going right up here to this uh, capacitor on the positive and negative terminal. And essentially, when you charge up that uh, capacitor, it bleeds off into the battery. And there's probably uh, better and faster ways to do it, a uh, larger battery bank or whatever. And uh, it's a real simple process, but uh, I got asked the question and I uh, simply just threw a little project together real quick to show you that it is possible to uh, charge a uh, battery back pack with a... Uh, using the Tesla cool so you can turn it back into to usable energy you can see it's still going back up I'll fire it up one more time we're at uh, 1.61 now or 7.61 volts Let me run it here for a second <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Let's leave it at that. Uh, we're at 7.63. But uh, try the test out yourself. Just be real careful when you're messing around with uh, electricity and high voltage capacitor and such. Before you connect your terminals, make sure you disc, uh, discharge the capacitor so you don't blow your finger off. Alright, peace and love everybody. Take care. Okay, last clip, uh, it's about 8.07 there, um, hasn't quite made it up to the uh, 8.40 that I think we started off with, but uh, yeah, you can see it, it uh, does charge the battery, so uh, be real safe and uh, take care, peace and love everybody.